Hey guys, today I want to talk about what to do when you get burnt out. And this is something I, I'm pretty familiar with in uh, in life and in general, I would say. Uh, now, um, there's two types of burnout in my opinion. There's the I'm burnt out on a specific thing. And then there, I as an individual am, have worked myself beyond my limit or life has presented me in a situation in which I am overwhelmed and I am burnt out on life. And, uh, you know, depending on who, who you are and how you handle that, uh, it goes in, you do various things that may be good or may be bad for, for your health or your life or anything like that. Now, I am, of the, I am of the type, I don't really get burnt out by certain things like coding or um, gaming or anything like that. I get more burnt out uh, as a person and overwhelmed than anything else. Uh, and how I've recently dealt with that is I started picking up some old hobbies of mine. Um, one way, the, let's talk for a second about how I as an individual have gotten burnt out before uh, in recent times. Like it basically um, three, four weeks ago, I noticed that I was getting burnt out. And for me, it's something that I'm very aware of because it's happened so many times in the past that I kind of know when it's coming on. And I, I can kind of, and my, you know, my girlfriend can kind of pick it up. Um, I start becoming more irritable. I, uh, I'm not really performing at the thing. I'm not really enjoying the things I normally enjoy, right? Like I enjoy YouTube. I enjoy coding. Um, these are kind of my hobbies. I'm not really enjoying them anymore because they're feeling more like work. And part of the reason that is, is, uh, when I start getting burnt out or it's because I'm working too much, I am studying too much. I'm trying to code too much. And I'm not really taking time to not do things like that. So even though I enjoy it, there's a point where, for me, it becomes less enjoyable and more just kind of like I'm working, which is not what you want it to be like. Uh, in your personal life, maybe it could be something where, you know, you've had some rough challenges in life and it's just all built up or you've been doing the same task over and over and over again and you're done with it. Uh, so everyone gets burnt out for their own reasons. For me, it's because I'm working too much on various side projects, uh, YouTube, coding, and I've had some I've had some real um, real issues with it. I'll give you a very realistic example. For me, I was coding so much for a couple when I first started as a developer. Uh, I, I was coding so much on the weekends that there's two or three uh, weekends where I went into work not refreshed and not ready to be coding anymore. I showed up on Monday and I said, oh my God, I don't actually want to code right now. And I became a developer because I like doing this stuff and I did too much of it. And I burnt myself out and it made my week very long and very tiring. And recently that happened, uh, not, at, not in that aspect, but in, I became overwhelmed. And so I started, uh, back, now what can we do before I say what, what I did? What can we do when we become overwhelmed? The first thing is kind of what I was already mentioning is try to try to be aware that it's happening and change your habits. Um, maybe if it's your first time getting overwhelmed, you're not going to have that. But chances are in life, you're always going to get burnt out or overwhelmed. It's just part of life, right? Um, but be aware. Be aware. Notice the signs. Um, if your significant other says, hey, are you okay? Or they, they say, mention something like, yo, what's your problem? calm the f down whatever it may be uh don't just think they're overreacting actually think for a second like is there something wrong like is it am i actually being am i burnt out am i tired am i irritable why is this just think logically for a second pause say if tired if burnt out if cranky like keep on hip, hip, hitting those if blocks until you get else nah she's in a mood whatever it is right um but think logically for a second about you know, what can I do to, is it me? Do I need to relax? How can I go about that? What what relaxes me? And then that what relaxes me, when you have kind of think you're going down that path, because the key is to really get it before you, you implode or explode, right? And so once you're there, find out what relaxes you. For me, I bought a game system recently. Now, uh, I don't, I haven't really talked about this too much, but I used to play a ton of video games. Uh, League of Legends, PlayStation, um, Xbox, Steam games, whatever it may be. Um, but when I got serious about coding, I stopped playing about two years ago. And now that I, I'm kind of happy about 
the direction my life is going in and I've been working hard for two years straight, I feel like I've matured to the point where I'm not going to sit at home and play games 24-7. But I needed something that I could escape for. And I tried to watch movies and I tried to read books. And uh, I, that was something I've done in the past. And I wasn't able to kind of sit through it. I wasn't enjoyed it. So I bought a game system. And I just um, played... Um, the game, uh, not it doesn't matter what game I played, but I got a PlayStation 4 Pro and I, I played um, Horizon Zero Dawn. Very good game, a very enjoyable story. And I, I played it the last two weeks and it really kind of gave me something to sit down, something different, and go about it. Now, some people, if they're getting burnt out because of coding, for instance, that may not work for you. You're staring at a screen, you're playing a game. Um, but find what works for you. When I was in school... And I was getting burnt out by school. I started doing yoga. I enrolled in a yoga class at the at the college for a, a semester. And I also did yoga at the 24-hour fitness and sometimes at the park in Long Beach uh, on the, like, ocean. So you'd pay, like, $5 to do it there. But I really enjoy lo- yoga. I tried, I tried various things. And don't get discouraged when the things you're trying aren't working, right? I just said I started watching movies, reading books. They didn't work for me. Um, I don't have the time to do yoga and I don't have the feel a need to. I want to incorporate that in my life later down the road soon. But find what works for you. And sometimes it's physical activity. Everyone will tell you physical activity is great, right? Exercise, um, walks are something I've done in the past that have helped me where I just kind of walk around. If I've been in the house all day, which happens. Sometimes on a Saturday, when Saturdays and Sundays are like my days to put in work, learn new languages, frameworks become a back-end developer, all that sort of stuff. I put in 10, 12-hour days, even now. And I I enjoy it. I really do. But sometimes by that 10th hour, I just realize, oh, my God, I am completely exhausted and kind of stressed out. And I'll walk around my apartment complex with the girlfriend once or twice. Or I'll say, hey, baby, let's get out of the house and go get a yogurt or something. Just kind of get myself moving and get myself out, uh, change kind of, stop staring at a screen stop coding stop thinking like that and introduce something new so if you're feeling burnt out whatever it may be feeling stressed out sometimes you just need to pause i know we're all in the grind right we're all trying to get to be a developer as quick as possible if you're a developer you're trying to become a better developer right that's my case i'm a developer i want to become a better developer so that i'm more successful so that i make more money so that i i have uh, better job security so that i can provide Um, for myself and my family all those sort of things right so there's always going to be something pushing you and sometimes you have to make sure that those things that are pushing you don't hold you down at the same time and, and aren't a burden and when you do feel like they are you need to sit back for a second evaluate and see what you can do to kind of all right let me step away for a second and go go elsewhere, right? And go do this thing that helps me relax. In my case, it was gaming, uh, walking around, yoga, exercise, changing it up a little bit. And then a day or two later, come back to it and get back into the grind. But just for a second, pause if you're feeling burnt out and try to evaluate and see where you can change and take a day off or take an hour off and go and do something else. Because in the long term, it'll be much better for you and your career and your life and your health and your happiness. And you'll be more successful. People are happier, more successful, and you'll get to where you want to go. So if you're feeling burnt out, just calm down and try to do something different and try and find out what makes you what makes you what makes you relax, what makes you feel better. You see me, man? I got I get a question every day. What's all this smoke in your room? This is one of the things that help me relax, the aromatherapy. I happen to really enjoy it, and I find it very soothing. <clears throat> you never know what it can be. So find your thing, and if it takes you 10 tries to find that one that fits for you right now, and what may work for you now may not work for you for a year from now. So always don't try to make it work if it doesn't. You know. So find what works for you, and I promise you, you'll be much happier, less, less stress, and you'll be better off for it. But anyhow, guys, that's my two cents about how to deal when you're burnt out, how to deal with being burnt out and what you can do about it. As always, don't forget to join our Facebook group, Code Tech and Caffeine. And if you want to support me, you can at patreon.com slash codingtutorials360. I hope you guys are stress-free and having good days. And on the days that you are stressed, try to just manage it the best you can. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.
Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in coding bootcamp, check out devmountain.com where housing is included in your price of tuition. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share and support me on Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.